didn't go quietly, did they? They all knew a big jump was coming. Not a safe, controlled sequence of bursts, but a single, mad leap. So the people found a thousand ways to say no. And I denounced them as filthy traitors. You had no choice. Eternalism dictates that we always have choices. They believed me and now they're dead. The closer we came to the jump, the crazier it got. I remember how everything changed when the agricultural biomes were hit. And the people celebrated. Everyone thought we'd be going back home. But it just made the Oregon more determined. I thought I was saving us all. When I sabotaged the biomes. But then... The children... Began to starve. You don't blame the animal for gnawing its own leg off. You blame whoever set the trap. I rounded the dissenters up, made an example of the ringleaders. You went about it like you were hurting animals. I had my orders. Your orders. You may not have been Orokin, you pious bastard, but you were damn close. Liaison to the Expeditionary Command, bearer of the Crystal Index. My tablet. A swipe of my finger across a name, and the ship came to New Cephalon. The children barricaded themselves in. The parents were insane, feral. But not us. And we couldn't forget our guilt. So we tried to save the children. I, uh, watched the pet tear, you to, tear you to pieces, Hombask. Then when they threw themselves on you, you blew yourself up. And Quinn, the children didn't understand he was a friend. They blasted him to ash. And you? An honor I did not deserve. I awarded myself the Jade Light. Quinn is dead. Whatever guilt he bore should have died with him. So why does it still burn? Because we're not finished here. None of us. If we're talking redemption, it seems to me that dying's the easy part. So this is a fate. Living out every day a pan pantomime of contrition? What? Like you'd saw something better to do? Quinn. Wake up. Look at us. We're back to how we were. This ain't just a second chance. It's an eternity of second chances. Perhaps. Yes. Blame lingers. But so does duty. And who is to say that is not why we were recreated? The indifference has awoken. And all of the Void's creations must find a light. Even ones we thought lost in another time. Let eternity be our horizon. Until then, we shall hold fast.